Hey guys, and welcome back to the FFF HQ, where I'm going to bring a special guest on to show you our favorite breakfast from Spain. It's called pan con tomate or tomato toast. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the recipes each week. And now let's dive right in. So you probably guessed the surprise guest is Mr. FFF because he's always surprise. a surprise guest. Surprise! Yeah, crazy. So step number one to make pan con tomate is we need to make the tomato. And we have tomatoes right here. How convenient. Surprise! I know. Surprise. So we have Roma tomatoes. We use two for two to three people. And so you want to slice the end off, which Mr. FFF is going to yes. do for you today. You should probably move Very that so carefully. they can see. One of the keys, I think, with this, I mean, it's not really all that complicated, to be honest. Um, but I slice them in half, like when you're grating them. And then that way uh, you can get the inside grated and then keep the skin on the outside so it doesn't get in your pan con tomato. Look so, at you with all your little tips and tricks. I know. So then you want to take a box grater. Man of many talents. Yes. And we're going to grate the tomatoes. Simple as that. All right, so the big reveal. Ta-da! Tomatoes, crazy. So as you can see, you got these peels right here, or the uh, skins, and uh, most of the tomatoes taken off, and this is what you should come up with. So it's gonna be really, really watery around here, so you'll wanna make sure that um, you're doing this in a place where you don't mind getting liquid around there. All right, you wanna put the tomatoes in the bowl? It's a big task. It's a big I don't know task. If I can do it. I think you can handle it. I have right. faith. I don't even have a spoon, so this is going to be actually really interesting. There you oh, go. here we go. All right, very little spoon, so this is going to be a tedious process. So, tomatoes in the bowl, as you can see, as Mr. FFF is demonstrating so well. All right, and then once we get these in here, we're, we're going to add, add the a other bunch ingredients. Of stuff. Yeah. Okay, so I'll add the other stuff since you grated the tomatoes so well. Yeah. All right, so we have rice vinegar, gives a little tang. Oh, here, I'll be your stirrer. Oh, yes, you're good at that. You're very good at Master stirring. Master stirrer. Yeah, giving you a very hard task today. Some fresh grated garlic. Some good quality olive oil. The quality doesn't matter in this since there's so many simple ingredients. Look at you stir. I'm great at it. You're great at it. And some salt. By the magic of television. Oh. We have a toaster. Got a toaster. You nailed it. So for, for the win. Yes. For a tomato toast, you can really use any good crusty bread, right? Yeah. Not yeah. we don't we use like whole wheat bread. It's okay. But it's not great. So we love pumpernickel rye. Yeah. So we have that. So two slices in your toaster, if it fits. <laughs> you know. Maybe it's this way. There you uh, go. This might work. Here there we go. go. There we oh, go. Oh yeah. Boop. Like the toast. Super creepy. All right, <laughs> let's eat this toast. All right, so we have our <laughs> toasted pumpernickel rye bread. Here's a plate for you. All right. And here's the tomato. Got spread it on your toast. That's right. Another pro tip. So um, many pro tips. So many pro tips. But this is really, really runny. Uh, so you don't want to spread a whole lot and you want to eat it right after yes, you spread no it. Yes, no waiting. No waiting because this will make your bread super, super soggy. No one likes soggy bread. So just before we dive in, I want to show you guys this jamon, which we actually brought back from Spain. It was our favorite thing to put on this toast. You can totally just eat it like this, or you can use jamon, or prosciutto would also be delicious. Are you ready to toast? I'm ready to toast. Toast. A simple breakfast with super fresh ingredients and a little taste of Spain. I cannot wait for you to try this toast. So if you try this recipe, please leave a comment below and let me know what you think. I also really appreciate a like and a thumbs up of the video. There's a link to the full recipe in the video description below. And make sure you hit that subscribe button because I'm delivering healthy and delicious recipes, product reviews, health tips, intuitive eating tips, you name it, I got it every single week. So go enjoy your no-bake cookies and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.